Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. So Cardano currently all going um, according to plan in the current scenario. No invalidation, everything um, following currently this wave count that I still have here on the chart. And um, yeah, what we are, what I'm looking here at the moment is possibly um, that we are in the wave three here in yellow. So that would indicate a further move down. But to do that further move down, the price must not break above 55.5 cents. So what I highlighted here as yellow wave two, um, by the way, this wave two came perfectly in the target area here based on Fibonacci retracements, yeah. Perfectly reacted to it and it is on its way down. We moved down very impulsively. Now we have moved up in a three wave move in a corrective wave and could be that the next wave would then be down quite impulsively. So for everybody who's um, new on this channel, we are looking at the chart from an Elliott Wave point of view. Um, last, no, a couple of weeks ago, the price moved here, or last week, yeah. Last week, the price moved finally here into my target area between 30 and 60 cents. It took many, many, many weeks or even months to get into this target area. It finally reached it, it reacted to it, it briefly went out of it. But what we see here is just a corrective move. Yeah, it's a wave four. Um, and uh, corrective means you have a lot of strong retracements, you have a lot of overlaps, you make lower highs, you know, especially in, in a potential uptrend where you actually make higher lows if you then make lower highs as well. There is not um, nothing impulsive what we're seeing here. Yeah, and impulsive would mean that we go back, that we move into the direction of the higher level trend. So an impulsive structure looks different. You have less overlaps. You see just the, the strength in the market. What we see here, this was an impulsive move down. Here yeah, you see that you have um, higher, uh, lower highs and lower lows here. So the impulse went down. The, the, the price action is in the direction of the higher level trend. This here is a correction which is correcting this price action and the next move would then be another impulsive move down. An impulse was typically oriented in five waves and you get waves within waves and so on. Um, but what we currently look at here that we completed here in this kind of triangle structure, A, B, C, D, E, as per the Elliott wave method, completed here a wave four. I've been talking about that now for probably the, the entire week or the last week even that we are here in a triangle. Well, no, it must have been this week. It's already end of the week. So we completed here probably a wave four. We then moved down. That was the expectation that we moved down here in an impulsive way. We did that, yeah. I told you that we um, ideally want to get below, I think, uh, was it this level actually here, 49 cents. Now, this has only been tested as support so far. We erected to it, made a lower high. Now, very interesting developments here. Impulse down in a wave one corrective move up in a wave two into the expected target range, impulsive move down again in the wave three. So the wave two could really be finished here. We could already be here in the wave three, basically in a wave two of three. Yeah, to indicate you that, what is going to happen here in a wave three after the wave two was complete, what are we looking at here in a wave, um, in a wave, let me just put that on the chart in a wave three, so one, two, three, four, five. That would complete that wave three. We're currently still here perfectly, um, still here perfectly sort of in that pattern. I mean, the wave two could also be finished here. We might be looking at a triangle here. That is now for the detail, not that important. What is important is looking here at the Fibonacci retracement levels of this wave. And we can see that in this possible wave two, yeah, which is coming up here, we now reach a 78.6% FIB level. Now, either now or after a small increase up all the way to 53.6 cents, the price should reverse down. If it moves any higher than that, it gets more likely that actually that wave two that we're looking at here has not been completed yet. I'm talking about the yellow wave two. Yeah, this could then end a little bit higher. This entire move down here, will not be invalidated until we actually break above 58.7 cents. So there is quite a bit of a way to go to invalidate it. At the moment, it's all going according to plan. I'm looking here at the scenario that the wave two is already finished, impulsive move down, corrective move up, and that would be followed 
by more impulsive moves down, where then the price would end somewhere in the lower 30 cent levels. Now, there are two target levels that we're looking at here. So if I zoom out a little bit, because um, I want to be a bit more specific about what I look at at the end of the correction. Yeah, because um, obviously Cardano has now been in this correction since September, pretty much. Everybody was um, bashing down Cardano for being a little bit slow. Yeah, and uh, for always correcting down. And to be honest, it is only corrected in the same way as most other cryptocurrencies now as well. In fact, most other cryptocurrencies are looking even worse than Cardano. So we're looking here at a bear market at the moment. And Cardano is just doing what all the other cryptos are doing as well. Um, it has started, however, the correction a little bit earlier, which doesn't mean it corrected more. It just corrected a little bit longer, less steep. Okay, so we have here, we have here a, a five wave move down in white. One, two, three, four, five would be the last wave down. We want to look at a target level for that wave five in white. Um, Typically, you would consider a wave five could be, that is one target level, could be the length of the wave one, okay? So what do we do? We take the length of the wave one, we add it to the wave four, or for the, to the wave five beginning. Where would that take us? You can see it here in blue. It would take us pretty much to 36 cents. So 36 cents would be one target area for a wave five to complete this overall correction. Is it realistic? For me personally, it's not low enough. I think we need to get a little bit lower than the previous swing low here from the 12th of May, but it's possible. We could see the overall end of the correction at 36 cents. That is one target. The other target, which is possible for a wave five, is the 1.618 Fibonacci extension of the wave one. So where would that take us? So here again, we take the Fib extensions and it's just roughly now, right? We just wanna do a rough overview here. So let's do that. <clears throat> and they are just for orientation, really. So this would actually take us to 22 cents. Yeah, this is actually what I find more realistic. 22 cents or 36, both possible price targets. We need to see how the price is going to react to the 36 cent level. But why do I find 22 cent actually realistic to reach and to complete the overall correction? Well, it, you can see here these two <clears throat> red lines. That's a support zone. And we had a lot of support here previously in January 21 around the area of 20 cents or just below 20 cents. So I think that is actually a very, very realistic price target to end the correction. Now, that can take a few weeks. It could even take a couple of months, right? And then we could slowly start the recovery to the upside. And that might then already take us to um, new all-time highs. Now, we need to see, however, how this is going to play out. Will it be slow? Will it be fast? This is impossible to say now. Um, but what I can tell you is that I believe we are close to the end of the correction. Um, this is only my guess at the moment, but we obviously need to pay close attention to the charts. At the moment, there is no recovery visible. The bullish signals are too weak. We're currently still in a downtrend. Therefore, I do expect still lower prices, even though short-term upside is always possible. And as I said, above 58.7 cents, there might be more short-term upside, but that wouldn't be bullish. It would just in in extend the overall correction of that wave four I showed you. Um, yeah, it will be interesting, definitely. So that's my update here about um, Cardano. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership. Tomorrow, another live stream for channel members. And uh, maybe you want to even check out the trading course I'm currently offering on morecryptoonline.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.